Hey guys, so today we are working on installing some new headlights. That's the old ones, and there are the new ones. Kind of hard to see with the glare there. Um, a while back, I had done a video talking about wiring in headlights with DRLs and blinkers in them, and that was quite a while back, and not super in-depth so tonight i'm going to kind of go over that a little bit more a little bit more in depth and kind of point out wires and use diagrams and stuff and show you what's going on so on this side uh this one's already done i just kind of put this one together so we can see what's going on for right now i'm going to pull all of these apart make it simple there we go we've got the h4 plug from the headlight we'll actually pull that out so the headlights come with an H4 plug and then two wires coming off of them. And then you've got your H4 plug on this side and then your plug that runs all of your auxiliary lighting, your running lights, um, and your blinkers and stuff like that. Now, I don't have the factory setup, obviously. So it's actually gonna be a lot simpler for me to explain this to you, but it's not gonna look exactly the way yours does. But I've got diagrams and I've got wires here that should be pretty easy to follow regardless. So what I'm going to do is go right over here. Now if you look, this is your headlight harness right here. And you've got kind of a Y connection here. And right here is where your H4 plug is. So this is the female end of the H4 plug for the headlight. And then right off of that Y you've got some grounds that usually ground right on the back of the grill here and then another plug here now my wires are all cut short here because I don't need the extra length to feed into the fenders or anything like that so I'm just gonna use these wires here at this length but keep in mind that yours may run into the fenders and you're gonna have to pull out a little bit more in order to see or in order to access what you need in order to splice stuff in there Now for pulling the actual headlight out, um, it's pretty simple. It's You've got a screw here, one here, and one here, and this bezel will come out. Those are usually uh, Torx. I think they're a T15 on the factory, if you still have the factory bolts in there. Uh, mine are Phillips, so those just pop right out. And then once that bezel is out, there's a retaining ring in here. You can see mine is blue, actually. Um, then there's four screws spread out around that and you can pull that out and once that's out then your headlight should pop out so be careful you don't want to drop your headlight out unless you don't really care about that but usually you've either got glass or either poly lenses and you don't want to break or scratch those so i'm going to go ahead and pull that out quick and then we can kind of look at what we've got going on in there before we get to the wiring Now in order to put this back in, we're just going to reverse the process basically. So we're going to take our new headlight, um, make sure our wires are kind of managed here. I'm going to slide mine pretty specifically through there. And then take our bezel. That goes on here first. Roughly about there. I can kind of center it and roll it as I need once I have it in place. Um, and then this goes on, the four screws for that. And then we put our uh, trim ring back on afterwards. So we're going to go ahead and do that now.
Now before I tighten this down all the way, I'm going to stand back a little bit and make sure the headlight is rolled properly so that we have a, a flat beam coming out. I don't want it shooting off to one side or up in the air or something like that. Alright, now that we have the headlight in place, we've got our wires poking through the back here. You can see the harness off of the back of the headlight. We've got our H4 plug, and then we have two wires here. Um, one is going to be for running lights, and one is going to be for blinkers. Here, we have that factory plug that I was talking about. So for the H4 part, extremely simple. Simply just plug that in. Then here is where it's going to get a little more complicated. Now, I'm using a uh, Haynes manual here. Uh, I've been using the electrical diagrams of this basically since I started working on this thing. And they've come in super, super handy over the years. And I recommend looking through one of those before you dive into this. Um, not all of the years are going to have the exact same wiring or at least color combination wise but they do give you a really good idea on which wires go where and they can help you a lot with things like this. So I'm going to show you what I've got for wires and you can kind of take from that and maybe work with the diagram to figure out exactly what you're going to need to do. Off of this plug I've got three wires. I've got a black wire, I've got a yellow wire with a black stripe, and I've got a green wire. Now, the black wire, and I believe the green wire, run over to um, the side marker lights as well, um, the very side marker lights, whereas the yellow wire runs just to the front one, if I remember correctly. It's been quite a few years since I've had that set up. For me, I do not need to use this black wire. Um, when I had originally done this, I was running uh, an inline resistor here, which I was using because I switched to all LED side markers and blinkers. And if you know anything about these Wranglers, the, they don't like all LED blinkers. You'll get the, the super fast blink and in order to fix that, I ran inline resistors on that blinker wire for quite a few years here. Um, and that was clearly not the most simple way to do it. I had quite a bit of wiring there, and then I had to store this. Just, it was a big, big deal that was not really the best way to do it. So what I've done now is there is the flasher relay which is located up underneath the dash and you can switch to a, an LED friendly flasher relay and I'll make sure that I include a link to that in the description of this video. For the earlier models I think up 97 to 02 I believe it is um, they use a four pin flasher relay and then I think 03 to 06 they use a uh, five pin flasher relay I do not know exactly which flasher relay for the 5 pin is the most recommended. Um, so I will not be linking one of those, I'll link a 4 pin. But usually in the recommended or similar items on Amazon, they do recommend one. Um, but my 4 pin one has been working fantastically. 
Uh, I don't have any complaints with it. It takes took a little while to get it warmed up, uh, I guess, when I first put it in. But the flashers work, the blinkers work. All of that is great now, and I have much less wiring to deal with. Now, the way that I have this set up is I've simply capped off the black wire as I won't be using it. So that will most likely go out to um, one of or both of your side marker lights here. Uh, so you shouldn't need to tap into that if you are going to use that flasher relay. And then you'll just need to put a splice into both the green and the yellow wires. And what I recommend for that is just simply a butt splice like this. Um, and what I would do is I would snip the wires somewhere where it's convenient to access to this H4 plug and I would basically completely put the wire back together and then add a jumper out of one side of this that you can then put a corresponding end on to mate into your wires here for the new headlights um, if you plan to run the DRL or the blinker with those headlights as well. Um, I'm not doing that because these only need to go one place and that's to my headlights so I just have ends on the end of them. So I'm going to kind of figure this out and see which ones go where and then I will let you know which is which. So this part actually can be kind of fun um, if you're playing around trying to figure out which goes where if you've got your bare wire ends that come out one end of your new butt splice in there. You're just trying to figure out which goes where. So there's my headlight and if I take one of these I have my uh, my running lights on inside so I have my stem just pulled out the first click which would normally turn on the amber marker lights here and here. Um, so I'm just gonna touch that to there. Oh, So that is amber and that one is white. So it looks like the wire that has power right now yep, is my yellow wire. So if I take my green wire and touch I've got nothing. So the green wire appears is the blinker wire and if you look in your Haynes manual at the diagram there you can see that that is indeed what the blinker wire is. So my yellow one I will be hooking up to whatever is the white. There we go, got white there. So I will be connecting those two wires for my daytime running lights. Um, this works the same with halos. Those are probably the most common headlights you see with daytime running lights. I know there's a lot of new designs out there right now, but that's a, a easy way to say it. So that would be my just my simple halo. It would be like that. And then I will be hooking up this green blinker wire to the other wire, which as of right now, if I just connect that power wire to it, it's amber. So if I take my blinker wire and hook it to that, and my daytime running light and hook it to the white then everything should be good to go now remember these do ground through the h4 plug so if you're testing this and you don't have that h4 plug plugged in you won't be getting any power um, just a, a pretty common mistake that you can do if you're testing it or if you're testing those wires on the light to see which is which off of a battery you won't be grounding um, and can be frustrating why am I not getting light uh, what's going on stuff like that so if you have just make sure you have that h4 plugged in and the headlights on so that you have ground through there um, so for me I just have spades on my harness here and then I will be taking the ends that are on this new headlight and actually pulling those off and putting corresponding spades on there because I don't plan to change um, this off of my harness but there's a good chance that my headlights will be changed again at some point I think this is maybe my ninth or tenth set of headlights I kind of have a, a problem with that so I will just keep this standard and change what's on my headlight in order to make that work with that um, but other than that the process is pretty straightforward uh, I think the most complicated part for most people is going to be simply splicing into those wires they're usually uh, wrapped in this cable wrap and the factory wrapping on here which can be kind of a pain to dig through and find but I would try your best to find this plug which should be right off of the V here and 
maybe cut into those wires relatively close to this plug because that keeps you relatively close to the H4 plug and you only have to keep a, a short distance there to, to protect um, and obviously you want to whether you're going to heat shrink them or wrap them in electrical tape make sure that those connections are protected from the elements and that your wiring connections are nice and sturdy you want to not have these sliding off but other than that I mean that's it's not super complicated especially if you have a wiring diagram and I hope this helps so I'll uh, throw a picture on here of these once they're all working but otherwise if you guys have any questions feel free to leave comments I'll do my best to answer them thanks for watching all right we got everything hooked up